Okay, so if you've not used the latest beta of Chrome OS, things have changed. And maybe this is the biggest visual style change that I've seen. And I've been using Chrome OS since um, it was in version something like 11 or 12 with the original, um, not quite the original, but the Samsung Series 5. There was the CR48 before that. So I've seen Chrome OS go from um, little more than the browser, and that's what some people say about Chrome OS, to um, a fully fledged OS, which is what we've got now. So the most immediate visual style change is the fact that your icons on the shelf at the bottom get put into the middle, and it looks like the launcher that you get on something like Linux or perhaps Mac OS, and if you click on the uh, little circle, then uh, you get your most commonly used things appearing and then if you just push up then you can scroll through all of your apps full screen and it disappears again uh, ones that don't fit onto the shelf you can get there i'll just cancel that notification about the fact that i'm screen recording so i've got keep there and a custom link that I've got there as well. Now this is a managed, well, I'm signed into my G Suite account. This is not a managed account, uh, device, but it is one that I'm on, obviously, my school account at the moment. So if you click on the notification thing down here, this is sort of totally different, and those people who have been using things like the developer channel will have seen this before, and you've been able to turn this on um, for a while now. So it just looks a little bit different. It's got essentially the same things on there. You've got the night mode, but that came in in 69. This is 70, so that's been there for one iteration already. And you've got the sliders and everything else that you might expect. It just looks perhaps a little bit nicer. The other big visual changes, I think, come when you put it into tablet mode. So I'm using this on an R13, an Acer R13. It's my own personal device. I've had it for a while now. It's been quite a good, reliable, solid device. You get this screen. I didn't do anything. I just put it into tablet mode, and you get your apps appearing on here, and you can sort of scroll through them as I'm doing with your finger. If we launch um, an app, so let's launch something from, uh, let's say launch Terminus. This is an SSH application, which is telling me that you want to get the Android version, but I like this version, and it works, so who cares? Um, and let's launch the Play Store. So this is the managed version of the Play Store as opposed to the consumer Play Store. Uh, what I've noticed that you can do, if you want to switch between your apps, you can either click the thing in the bottom right-hand corner, and then you'll see all your running apps. Or you can sort of put your finger on the top of an app and just sort of swipe it down. There we go. It might be a bit slow because it's screen recording at the same time. And I can switch between them that way as well. And you can actually choose where you put them on the screen. So I can put that one back there and then go back to um, the Play Store. Uh, and that's only happens when you put it into tablet mode. And it appears that the whole thing is to make it um, a bit more friendly towards tablet users. So to get the home screen where you've got all the apps, I just have to click in the thing at the bottom. Or I can just switch between my apps. What happens? If I... Okay, I can close. Oh, I see what happens. If I click on that. I don't know what happens there. Put it down. There you go. Let's open something else up. Let's open Sims. It's just really opening an RDP session. I think I'm downloading something on Steam at the moment, so my uh, internet's probably glacially slow. But I can. Alright, okay, so now I can put that over there. Drag here to use split screen. Ooh. Okay, so if I put that there, 
Okay. That hasn't done split screen. How do we get this fable split screen? Let's go into something. I'll actually click on that. That just brings back that. It said drag somewhere to get into split screen. So let's give it that another go. Let's just open something up. Okay. Drag here to use split screen. Ah. Ah, right, okay. So it literally does mean drag there. So yeah, I've got split screen on. Oh, and I can make one big... Oh, no, no, I can't. I thought I could change the relative size of them. Oh, I can. There you go. Oops, and now it's flicked back to that. So it's... Uh, Let's put that over there. This probably works a lot better if I'm not screencasting, but there we go. This goes back to the Play Store. And now I've got Play Store and that split screen. Now, like, can I drag that over there and make the Play Store? Oh, yeah, okay, that works. So I can use split screen apps in tablet mode, which is really quite nice. Um, so that's kind of it. It looks quite a bit different. You know, you look into settings, there's not a lot different, although certain devices will support adding Linux apps now. This one doesn't. Um, if you're on a managed account, it's not there at all on any device, but on a private account, certain devices, generally new x86-based devices, do support Android apps. But, yeah, there you go. That's the uh, future of Chrome OS at least how it looks and some of the functionality that you uh, get. So I'll stop recording.